Gamer here, and today I'm showing you how to download custom maps. Now, I honestly, don't know if this is even recording my face. I have no clue. I'm just basically like looking at the camera. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you how to download custom maps for Minecraft. The first thing you're gonna need is a USB flash drive. Mine's about four gigabyte. Oh no, I think this one. I've got four gigabyte one. I think this one's about sixteen. Don't worry. I'm gonna record with my Roxy for the Xbox, and I got a laptop recorder recorder as well called Camtasia so that all everything that you're going to be seeing is going to be in HD basically what you need to do is you're going to find the right side that's the wrong side that's the right side and take it and you're going to push this right it's going to be hard doing this one handed take it push it into the Xbox and then I will see you on the Roxio bye Hey what's going on guys, I'm Gamer here and I'm showing you how to uh, obviously get custom maps. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get a basic 4GB um, USB stick and a 16GB or the one that I'm using in this video. I should be starting a brand new, another series called Play Clash of Clans or I'm just going to be playing Clash of Clans. Um, but I, if any of you guys could tell me how to do it, create a new account but still keep that account on Android, not iPad, that would be great. And I'd definitely give you a shout out. I'd be um, really grateful. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is have your USB in. And if you haven't configured it, you're going to go to System, you go to Storage, and you're going to go, it's going to come up here. You're going to click A, and it's going to come up saying this is not configured. Press A to configure. Click A, and if it comes up with an error, press back and then do it again, and it should work. That happened to me. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to move your profile. Now, make sure you have the email address and password just in case this goes wrong or you have it backed up. So, you click it, click A on it, and click move, and remove it to your USB flash drive. Wait for this to happen. And for a laptop, you're going to need to download Horizon. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can download Horizon. And if you want to download Minecraft, onto it I'm not down move Minecraft onto it is exactly the same you just go onto I've already got on here but you just you move the game and all the stuff onto the USB stick and yeah it'd be on there. So we've done what we need to do on the Xbox so I'll see you on the laptop. Peace out. Okay guys um basically you're gonna need to download the map I because that's what Horizon's for double click horizon as i said i'll leave a link in the description to where you can download this and yeah i'm not gonna be i might start playing more adventure maps if you want me to but I, as you know i started a solo let's play come on horizon there we go probably see all the stuff that i have my, my intro with no music, intro with a specific music, Minecraft Let's Play that I deleted, my old outro, my new outro. Alright, yep, yeah, just click OK, that doesn't matter. Now, you're going to take the USB stick out of your Xbox, you probably heard that, and plug it into your laptop or PC or whatever. I'm going to full screen Horizon, I'm going to click Device Explorer, and let's search for my device. Yep, don't worry, it comes out of all this, this all the time. Just ignore it. And now, I'm going to go to Gamer Profiles. You're going to see the one that you moved on there. You're going to get the um, stampis.bin, cake.bin, and drag and drop it onto your profile. And then you're going to scroll down, click your profile, and then click Use His Profile. Okay, right, it says say transfer complete. The following packages were success successfully transferred to flash drive. Quest for stamp is cake. Then you can go to the games, click the blue arrow, go all the way down to where Minecraft is. <coughs> Have it load. Then you're gonna 
Then you're gonna. I'm obviously need to scroll down a bit. Okay, you're gonna see it there. It's not done yet. If you take your USB stick out now and put it in the Xbox, it's not gonna work. You're gonna need to convert it. So drag the map that you want to download. Drag and drop it into the grey area. And I can call this whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it as quest for stamp is cake. Then you're gonna make sure you click this save, rehash, and resign. Now, depending on the file, this is around 19 megabytes. So it'll probably take about two to three seconds to save, rehash, and resign. And it should say saved, saved, rehashed, and resigned to the device. Click OK, close this down, and then you can take your USB stick out. Plug it back into the Xbox, and then you should see the map will be there. I will get, I'll show you um, what it will look like in a minute. So let me just quickly stop recording. Thank you so much. Peace out. Um, I'm just going to prove to you that um, it's downloaded. I'm not going to use my Roxy just for like, a tiny bit of proof because there's no point. Because I'm just like opening up Sony Vegas ready to edit this video. I always record my videos in HD anyway with my Roxio, but for this there's no point. Now if you want to have it on your hard drive, just move it back over. All you have to do is just go to Minecraft, find a map and move it back over. Same with your profile. Don't honestly know why I have, to have, a, why I have a password on it. I can't, don't know how to get rid of it. You can see my Roxy sort of is set up, but I close it all down. It takes ages to set up. Select uh, either a hard drive or a USB stick. It's going to take a while to load up because it has to, I don't know, do its thing of adding the map. Okay, I'm just going to go down and try and find it. I'm sorry, Josh, I'll join you in a minute. Let's see, how I can find it. There it is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Magic Gamer. Peace out.